The big Z790 refresh is almost upon us and we're getting brand new motherboards such as the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus X Wi-Fi 7. But what exactly is new in this refresh, apart from, you know, the Wi-Fi 7? Well, CPU power-wise, it's exactly the same as its predecessor, with 16 plus 1 plus 2 power phases rated at a maximum of 90 amps, with 2 for 8 for power from the PSU. However, despite the power delivery situation being exactly the same, this motherboard is actually slightly better at memory overclocking, being able to reach DDR5 speeds of up to 8266. And when it comes to the DDR4 speeds, well, Here's the thing, this motherboard will most likely not be available in a DDR4 flavor, so odds are you're gonna have to pay extra for that DDR5 RAM. But okay, maybe something has changed in a PC expansion. Well, no, not really. You do still have the same three 16x slots, with two of them actually being 4x. The one thing that has changed is the fact that the bottom one is actually Gen 4 rather than Gen 3. Which, definitely for at least one person out there, that's going to be some like game-changing feature or whatever. But for most of us, it isn't. And the storage situation is also identical, with four Gen 4 and 2 slots and six SATA connectors. And seeing how a lot of companies nowadays aren't really including that much SATA, well, I guess I have to count that as a W. So if the power delivery is the same, the internal expansion is also identical, what exactly has changed? Let's go over to the land of the rear IO to see if anything's different there, and nope. It's also pretty much all the same, with nine USB Type A ports as well, with four of them being Gen 2 like last time, and once again you also get a USB Type-C 20 gigabit port, plus also integrated HDMI and display port, a mere two audio jacks and optical SPDIF, 2.5 gig Ethernet, and of course the big one Wi-Fi 7. Well, okay, big. It's not much, but you know, it's the best selling point this motherboard has, and granted, with all the changes coming with Wi-Fi 7, it's definitely a selling point, and even if most PC enthusiasts out there are Ethernet purists, you gotta admit that having to drag a cable sometimes between floors can be a bit of a hassle. So finally having a Wi-Fi solution that is as good as Ethernet is a pretty great incentive to buy this motherboard if you wanna live that Wi-Fi life. However, there's also one more change, and that is to do with the audio. Yes, Gigabyte finally said goodbye to the dated ALC897 codec, something they were so embarrassed by last time that on the product page for the Z790 Eros Elite, they don't even mention what audio codec they use. But now they say it loud and proud, AOC1220 is finally here, which for most people won't really matter, but hey, it's a nice change. What isn't a nice change, however, is the price. Yes, that's as good of a segue as you're getting, because this thing will cost $290, which considering the very few changes that there are, and the fact that you can get a predecessor for $240, and also the fact that you're gonna have to pay extra for DDR5 memory, are there changes in this motherboard worth it? No, not really. Because unless the Wi-Fi 7 or the new codec or some other minor changes like for example more addressable RGB ports or the new stylistic direction that this motherboard has taken really speak to you, then I guess you're better off with this motherboard's older brother. But apart from that, there are some nice neat changes to it and hey, it could be worse. What could also be worse is this channel, if not for the support of people like you over on our Patreon. So huge thanks to our existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Dove Panda, Balash Welcome, Meg Sumner, Sheen Ulcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.